I bought 200 dominoes in bulk. You're probably wondering what this has to do with neural networks. Don't worry, we'll get there in a second. If you watched my How Does AI Work video, you'll remember that neural networks are made up of perceptrons. Perceptrons take in multiple inputs, sum them together, multiply that number or value by a weight, and then add a bias factor. And these weights and biases are usually determined to, through training, although you can change them manually if you're interested in biasing your model against certain outputs. At the end, we apply an activation function to that value, which is a nonlinear function, and that nonlinearity is what makes neural networks so good at labeling things. Now, models can be made up of thousands or millions of perceptrons, depending on how big your model is. And that can make them understandably really hard to visualize. Because of this, we typically consider the perceptrons to be inside a black box when we think about neural networks. You can see what goes into the box, you know that inside the box something is happening, and you can see how accurate your output is, but we don't tend to concern ourselves too much with what is inside the box. But what if we wanted to see inside the black box for a fairly simple model? Well, that's where the dominoes come in. I guess I probably should have opened these before I started filming, but that would be too easy. So here we have a bunch of wooden dominoes and you can use any kind of dominoes. These just happen to be the ones that I could find for cheapest in bulk, so. Okay, so we have dominoes. And with these dominoes, we can build a fairly simple perceptron. Okay, so what we have here is a perceptron. There are three inputs which intersect here and they lead to a certain output. Now, in theory, if I knock over this domino, I should get a different output than if I knock over this domino. In the case of this particular network, obviously it should be somewhat the same. We should get these dominoes falling over, but let's see what happens. Looks like that was successful. <laughs> now let's see what happens when I knock over a different domino. Slightly different output, we see that the dominoes actually fall in a different way. So since this domino was originally being knocked over by this, it goes out in a different direction. So you could say that, that is a different output. Okay, but what if we wanted to make a larger network? Well, we just add more perceptrons. As you can see, we have a bunch of inputs going this way, and that's one perceptron here. And then we have a bunch of inputs going this way, and this is two, a second perceptron here. And then these two meet in the middle to make that third perceptron going out. Like with our original one perceptron, depending on which domino you hit, you're going to get a different output. So let's try this one. That's one output. And as you can imagine, there's many others. Now, one of the things that we haven't talked about that much in my AI 101 series is the concept of dropout. Dropout helps us improve the accuracy of our model by essentially removing a certain percentage of perceptrons every time you train. This forces our model to learn weights that can still predict the correct output, even if you don't have all of the perceptrons that you normally would. And then when you test on data it hasn't seen before, you include all of the perceptrons. This typically results in a higher accuracy on your test data because you have more information with which to make a decision. Now, dropout doesn't translate very well to dominoes. This shouldn't be surprising because dominoes have a spatial dependency that neural networks do not. And because of this, you can use dominoes to replicate simple models, but you can't really get into the more complex features. However, as someone who tends to learn better from projects than from lectures and readings, Dominoes might be a nice first step to understand how neural networks work visually. Now, I want to see your domino-based neural networks. Definitely don't feel the need to buy dominoes in bulk like I did. It turned out that I didn't actually need most of them, but use whatever you have lying around. If you want to share them with me, which I hope you will, you can post a picture and tag me in it on Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag AI dominoes, and I'll share the ones that I see. Otherwise, if you like this video, you can let me know by smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel. You can also support me on Patreon. Thank you so much to all of my current patrons. Otherwise, you can find me on Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.